And I join him in that pursuit. There are many evangelicals who just get nervous when you start talking like that. That God is supreme in his own affections. That the person that God is most excited about is God. Contrary to the second song we just sang. I'm just going to plead with with your worship leaders and, and this one that we either change that last line or don't sing that song anymore. I've studied this song. I went to the website to figure out where this song come from. How did it get written? Like a rose trampled on the ground, he took our fall and thought of us above all. Wrong. He thought of his glory above all on the cross. And I'm going to argue for that before we're done. Now, if, if you want to make it work, which it's a very pretty song. I love the song. I love every line of the song except the last line. So I went to the web and you know how it got written? It got written in two stages. You can read the story of the song. The first and body of the song is magnificently God-exalting. God's worth shines everywhere. And then they were kind of, these two guys were kind of strumming their song. And they just, they just made up this reprise on the, on the spur of the moment. And tears got in their eyes about the trampled rose. And, the, and then they just got carried away. <laughs> and, and millions of people are singing this man-centered last line, with, which is really sad. Unless, so I'm, I'm trying to bail this song out so you don't have to feel so bad because we've all used it. Um, maybe the word all there, he thought of us above all, means um, all creation. All other creatures. That would be okay. So if that's what you mean, preach it, make it plain, because God always thinks of himself above us. He is always more important than us. His glory is always supreme, not us. And that's what has to be made clear in radically self-centered America. And probably, I don't know anything about Canada except it's north. (laughs) Probably radically self-centered Canada as well. So, sorry about that if I ruined the song for you. But we just got to make some hard calls along the way. We... I just, I'm on my case. We got three worship leaders, three campuses, and I meet with them and I say, guys, above all, (laughs) get the theology right. I love good tunes. I love good music and I love power and I love zeal and I love passion, but I love truth first as a means to that end. So get it right. Now, the goal is God's supreme and ultimate boule 